do an anthem now. And welcome to Del Barton High School here in Morris Township, New Jersey, as Morris Sussex Sports presents High School Boys Lacrosse. It's the granddaddy of them all, as it's Del Barton, as they come in with a record of four and two, coming off a big win over Summit the other day. A game you saw here live on the Morris Sussex Sports Network with a 4-3 victory over the Hilltoppers. Take on the Mountain Lakes Lakers, who come in a record five and zero. Oh. They participate in the Gibbs Division. Uh, they're also in the American Division of the NJAC, as is Del Barton. Both teams 2-0 in those divisions, led by two Hall of Fame coaches. Tim Flynn, the living legend over here at Mountain Lakes, looking for win 699. Matt Kovacek from Del Barton, another Hall of Famer going at it. These two teams, Del Barton has a 38-36 lead in this great rivalry. But the Lakers have won the last two, including last year's game, 5-3. You saw here at Morris Sussex Sports in the rain. And in the 2019 TOC Final 12-5 win. Good morning, everyone. Thanks for joining us here live on the Morris Sussex Sports Network. I'm Dan Cleary. I'm going to bring in my partner, sitting there, university head coach and longtime Morris County coach, Pat Regan. Pat, this is a game you, you're from the Morris County area. You know what this is all about. One thing we know for sure, we're going to see some great lacrosse today. We are. I'm, I'm excited. we got some great weather, and it's going to be a beautiful day out here. These guys all look ready. They're fired up, ready to go. Coach, we were talking before the game. These two defenses have been amazing all year. We saw what Del Barton did against Summit the other day, down 3-1, coming back for the victory. Uh, Mountain Lakes, you know, they beat a good Chatham team 9-3 the other day. Just talk about these defenses and what they do. I mean, it's hard in lacrosse to shut it, you know, keep a game that low a score. And they just, they're very active. I see the sticks are constantly in, the, in their opponent's hands. They don't give anybody any free space. Both defenses, hustle, push. It, it's it's going to be a lot of fun to watch. Aiden Troy in goal for Del Barton was amazing the other day. He had 11 saves against the Hilltoppers. Mount Lakes uses two goalies. Jimmy Holder will get the start in the first half, and Matt Sinkowski in the second half. Mount Lakes in the visiting orange. Del Barton in the home white will give it the Mount Lakes starting lineup on attack. Number two, 22, Reed Teachin. He's got nine goals, nine assists. He's going to Haverford. Number nine, Kevin Gillespie. Gillespie, six goals, six assists. And Bradford Goodbar. He's got seven goals. He's number 20. Offensive middies are number 11, Kaz Coatson, eight goals, four assists. Number seven, Cade Chuckman, nine goals, 13 assists. And Del Barton will win the faceoff and get the first possession. And LSM, Ryan McLaughlin, he's going to pen. Shot and a goal right off the bat. 
And that's Jake Belchione, number 33, the long stick mini. What a shot, coach. He just, he just lined him up, found that back corner, and put it away. So after winning the face-off, going, and we're going to take a look at that. Coach, what do you see? Well, he comes down. He's got that pole. He's coming from a different angle on the goalie. You see how the goalie has to dive down for it. Really changes the plane the ball is coming in at. Challenge for the goalie. Belchione going to Villanova. So we'll finish off that starting lineup. Nick Facone and Ryan Trafford were terrific against Summit at the face-off X. As that's Trafford. He was undefeated. He was 4-0 against the Hilltoppers. And a battle here. And a ground ball won by McLaughlin. As we said, terrific long pole going to Penn. We'll give you the Del Barton stars on. It's Zach Spencer Shea, number 31. Villanova commit, David Link, number three. He's got 10 goals, three assists. Had a big goal against Summit. Number nine, Joe Leone going to Stevens. He's got three goals, four assists. Ryan Johnson going to Williams, number one. Seven goals, two assists. He had the big eventual game-winning goal against Summit. Number four, Rory McAloon, six goals, four assists. TJ Coffey had a big goal to tie things up. He's got two goals, two assists, number 13. We saw Melchione. He's going to Villanova. He had the goal there. And that great defense, Johnny McAvoy, number 12. Corbin Lukanski, number 66. He's going to Bucknell, number 77. Jack Sharmer going to uh, going to BU. And we talked about the faceoff guys, Trafford and Vacone. And in goal, going to West Point, Aiden Troy going to be serving our country. He was tremendous the other day against Summit. So Mountain Lakes 5-0, and coming off that win over Chatham. They possible turnover, no, ground ball, gonna be picked up. Mountain Lakes beat St. Joe's 10-1, West Morris 11-3, held on to beat BC 10-9, we'll have a push. Beat Northern Highlands 10-5 and Chatham 9-3. Besides the Bergen Catholic game, coach, they haven't been totally tested. A big test today. It's going to be a real real test. You've already seen it. They're taking a nice wide open uh, offense right now. They don't have anybody in the middle. They're trying to test and see what the, uh, the, the green wave is going to do on defense. They look like they're up for the task. So up top, Cade Shuckman with the dodge. Being bothered there defensively by Andrew Sanzone, who played very well against some. The whole team played well against some. I can name every kid on the roster, right. Coach. Exactly. Last year in the rain at Mountain Lakes. A win by the Lakers. That was a great game. Matt McCrink, who's at Lafayette, he had two goals. Tristan Plaza at Drexel had a goal. Guys Coatson, who was back, had a goal, so to read Tishan. But Shane Nashman, the goalie, was the story of that game. He had 11 saves. That defense in front of him that day, Patrick Tate, Billy Smith, Amir Andrikan, and Ryan McLaughlin, in fact, were tremendous in front of the keeper last year against Del Barton. You hear the coaches tell them to move it. They, they want that, that rock moving around the field as fast as they can. Shot and a goal. And it, right away, tied up by Mountain Lakes. And with the rip, Cass Coatson, his ninth goal of the year. Did a nice job. He rolled up to the top, changed direction. We're going to take a look at that, Coach. What you see? Go. Comes up, picks it up, number 11 gets it, rolls to his right, stops real quick, comes around. You see the middle open. Bingo. Nice bounce shot, changes directions, changes planes. Coach in an outstanding three sport athlete at Mountain Lakes soccer, ice hockey, and lacrosse. We'll go back to face off X. We're tied at one on face off. Look at that battle. That's their faceoff guy is Hernando for Mountain Lakes. That's a brother tandem, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, indeed. But it'll be Bill Barton with the possession. Love to see the families work together. You know, probably go home at a holiday to beat each other up. Well, it's one thing about Mountain Lakes lacrosse; it's family. That's what Coach Flynn has preached and done for 40 plus years. Looking for win 699. It's a town of about 4,000 people. And when I think about him, but keeping it there is Bill Barton. What they do as a group one on the statewide and national level is incredible, Coach. Taking a rip save with that blast there, Rory McAloon. I mean, there's certain schools that dominate at group one statewide. Mountain Lakes and lacrosse, Paulsboro in football and wrestling. You can put Kittatinny in there for wrestling. So uh, if a town is dedicated to it, shot another save. Oh, 
through the sport like Mountain Lakes is, it's a small community, they love the lacrosse. They do, they do, and you're right. Every year they're always at the top of the list. Early ranked number one in several publications in the state of New Jersey at 5-0. and Bill Barton undefeated in New Jersey. They have wins over Chatham, Bernard, Pope John, and Summit. Their only losses out of state, St. Anthony's, Long Island Power, and Malvern Prep. Shot goes wide. It's interesting how Del Barton's kind of carrying to the cage and shooting on their own, not looking for the assist right now. It's a little change up from their last game, and I think it's got Mountain Lakes on their heels. That long pole's back there. Lucas Solrensky, number 13. And a nice job there by the keeper. Gavin Anion going Lafayette, number 41, John Halls. And Ben Busby, 28, and Marco Tazamba, 63. Terrific short stick middies that come back and play defense. Lakers will get it across. This is Coatsy. He has the game as a goal for Mount Lakes today. He'll be pestered up top by Nick Doffer. Mount Lakes defense needs this rest. They just withstood a pretty pretty heavy onslaught there. No, no doubt. Smart of them to take it, go wide, possess the ball, move it around a little bit, try to wear out the, the, the Barton defense, make them run. This is Jimmy Elliott. He's being pressured by TJ Coffey. Elliott trying to get through coffee on him. Waiting. Tishan does a great job at X. He's the facilitator back there with the nine assists. So we'll get it back nice in. Deep. Mm -hmm. Hands free. That's shot. A and a rip and a goal. Coates has got two. Just as you said it, boy, I tell you. It, you should be over on the sideline coaching. You had him set up nice and deep at X. He has his head up. He's looking forward. Finds the man up top. We'll take a look at that. So he's swinging around to bring it back down, get it to X. He's nice and deep. Nobody's pressuring him. He got number 11 up top. Nobody sees him. Boom. Hands the ball free. To that backside. Can't let these guys get their hands free, no, coach. No, no, Not no. at this level. We were saying before the game, it's almost like a college game and all the kids are going to be playing at the next level. Yeah, it is. Hernando battling with Facone, who's going to get it. Still loose on the ground ball. This is all about determination right here. Scooping it up is Del Barton, Andrew Sanzone. Turnover, good job on the stick check. And the Lakers will get it back with 6.28 to go here in the first quarter. Mount Lakes with a 2-1 lead. Good check there. Bodies everywhere. These guys are playing hard. Matt Harper doing a, nice, doing a nice job for Del Barton on the ride and broke it up. Stolen by the Greenway, breaking in. Shot. What a save. Robin Joe Leone is the keeper. Jimmy Holder. The Lakers will bring it over as we hit the midway point of this first quarter. Get their personnel on. Will the Lakers? Zambo will come off the big short sit defensive midi. And heading back on, Kaz Coates, and he's got the two goals. Hands free again. Another nice save by Aiden Troy. Slide didn't get there, Coach. No, it didn't. A little late, but he's trying to shoot that real narrow near side pipe. This is Tijan. Takes the big hit from Sharma, who's outstanding against Summit, as all, all the poles were. Up top, rip, and a goal! Bradford Goodbar, who had a big game a few games ago, picked up four goals, and Del Barton's going to call a timeout, Coach. It's a good time for them. The cross is a game of runs. You want to stop those runs as whatever way you can. The good bar with the rip. Here's a replay in the top See line. it again. It's very similar to the last play where they scored. He's going to work it around the outside, probably send it down to X. And once again, you're going to have your defense all looking down towards X behind the cage. Somebody's going to get open up top. Nice skip pass across the top of the cage right there. Catch, step, shoot. Well done. Mountain Lakes attack just a half a step ahead of Del Barton. That's all you need. 
That's, that's all you need. That's all you need. Now, maybe sometimes not even that. Very hey, disciplined, too, they are down on offense. Absolutely. Hey, folks, we want to thank Dan Whalen, the outstanding athletic director and basketball coach here at Del Barton, for having us and sponsoring tonight's game. This after, excuse me, this morning's game. Get ahead of myself. Also want to thank the Mountain Lakes Booster Club, Coach Tim Flynn, for helping us sponsor this game. And this could be, we say it every time they play, Coach, but sometimes it works out. This could be a preview of the Morris County Championship game and the preview of the TOC final for these two programs. It's, it's going to be one of them. I agree with you, Dan. Last year, Chatham made that great run to the final. As they were able to beat Del Barton in the semifinals and then lost to Mountain Lakes in the championship game. On, Coach Flynn the other day and the teal in the Morris County final went against his grands grandsons, the Menita boys, play at Chatham. Teddy is senior, Colin on the team. Dad Steve, former head coach at Chatham and currently the head coach of Sussex County Community College. Married to Tim Flynn's daughter, Kim. A little wind kicking up here on us. Yeah. And we talk about a family fair. Coach Flynn's wife, Betsy, is the biggest part of this program as Coach Flynn is. Filming games, being here. It's, it's just an amazing atmosphere She's got around the Mountain League program. She's got the hardest job keeping Coach Flynn <laughs> under control. But we, as coaches, we need that. We need that support at home. He does a great job. The whole family. It's a family fair at Mountain Lakes. And we'll have a push. And a great job taking that face off. Jordan Hernando. As you said, the Hernando brothers getting it done. Unsettled. And the ball pops loose. A little bit of break there for Bill Barton. They call the timeout. Keep a possession of uh, Del Barton. Tim Flynn looking for the timeout. Todd Donetta doing the game today. I've known Todd a long time. Former great athlete at Lenape Valley. All right, Del Barton keeps the possession. No timeout awarded. Green Wave need a good possession here. Yeah. Need a long, slow one. I'll tell you, Mountain Lakes came out of that timeout more fired up than Del Barton. They definitely need some activity down here. Alex Loshirt, number 44, he's in. Both of these teams have great depth. They have two, three lines on the uh, on the middies. Coming in, taking a shot and a goal. Luke Carrillo. Carrillo gets the goal. He's a sophomore. Big goal there for the Green Wave. See him, what I like here is he gets the ball, he carries, he gets it, that half step on his defender, puts his shoulder under, switches hands, goes inside with a nice shot. So what, that's a little bit of a change there. I don't think so they have possession in a timeout. Bill Barton, they don't award the timeout. The Barton keeps possession and scores. And he changes from 3-1 to 3-2. It's a big change. Yes, indeed. Psychological. And another win there for Mountain Lake. So he's doing a good job with Hernando. He comes in on Sunday. Nice check, check from behind. That was terrific stick work there by Nick Dotro. Ground ball, kids loose. Who's going to get there? Push against Mountain Lakes. Still, Barton will have possession. Bringing it up for the Green Wave, Jack Eisenhart, the junior. McLaughlin on him, going to Penn. Big tall kid. A little miscommunication on the defense there from Mount Lakes. Can they recover from it? Wrap around shot by Link, saved by Holder. And Mount Lakes fortunate there. A little miscommunication on their slide. Yep. And they, Del Barton made him pay, took advantage of it. He came right around, but it was a great save by the goalie because of his patience. Just waited for the shot. Now Lakes able to clear it over. A little bit of defensive now. Del Barton riding a little bit more today than he did against Summit. They seem confident in Summit to just sit back and let the ball come right. down. Here they're, they're trying to press them. I think they have more offensive weapons, Mountain Lakes, and that might be the thinking. I agree. Mountain Lakes, I think, has 11 different scores this season. Yes. That's a lot. That's Jake Triosi, who's in there, number 23. Triosi's got two goals. He's up top with Cullen Fagan. Fagan trying to get through. 
Goes down, sends it back top X, calling for it and taking the shot. And a rip there. Giacomo Pavacqua, he was calling for that one, Coach. Yes, he was. He wanted it. That's the thing. Uh, Mountain Lakes has 89.7% of their goals are assisted this year. That's, That's amazing. Impressive. Yeah, it's amazing. And Tishan gets them going back there. It's very next. selfless. It's, it keeps the game moving. It makes it hard on defense. This is Gillespie waiting. Going to go one-on-one, -on -one, trying to get by him with the dodge. Slide comes over, gets free, goes wide. We'll stay here on the backup. 2.09 to go here in the first quarter. It's been an exciting one. 3-2 yeah. our score. But no one's surprised by that, Coach. No, it's <laughs> Delbarton Mountain Lakes. I'm just saying that there's only two minutes left in the quarter. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe they'll play five for us. That'd be good. Now it's your jinx. You just made it happen. There you go. Come on. Come on. Up top. Triosi with the little stick dodge, trying to get the hands free to dump it back at X. What's that? That's, that's a great point you made, Coach, about all the assists. That the Lakers have. Shot goes wide, taking the rip there is Giacomo Pavacqua. There it is. It's, it's coming off a pass to a shot, pass to a shot. Great because it keeps the defense moving, keeps the goalie moving. Now you, now you get more openings. Got to keep that goalie's head on a swivel. Oh, great job by Tijan with the low shot. Takes it from X and the Havervik commit. Gets the goal his 10th of the year. Nice head fake. Here we go. We'll look at it. We'll see him. He comes up, pulls his defender out, sets him up. Brings his dodge in, goes hard to his right, stops. Bingo, he's got a beat. Now it's just a matter. Head throws, he throws his head high and he drives the shot low. 4-2. Another big face off. Obviously, whoever wins this one may hold for one. So it's a huge momentum shift here. Be Pacone and Jordan Hernando. Wow. He didn't like, the ref didn't like what he saw on that. It's yep. a uh, violation against Del Barton. So, Lakers will take it. So they'll get their personnel on. We'll see what they do here. Maybe hold for one or first best opportunity. I think I'd hold for one. Be quite a swing going in 5-2. No doubt. Shuckman, free, goes through. See here on the backup. It's a possession miss. I'll take that. <laughs> Tisha just had a beautiful goal before. Takes the rip, and it goes in. Wow. Right, right on cue, Coach, you said it's a big momentum swing if they it can is. get another goal. And those are heartbreakers for goalies. He got a piece of that. 30 seconds to go in the quarter. Another strong dodge from below at X. Turns around, gets a little space, throws it. He had now, a piece of the... Ended up going in anyway. When I, we did the Del Barton Summit game, almost every shot Summit took was contested. Today, Mountain Lakes, as you, to your point, the ball movement's been supreme. And when it's not ball movement, when they dodge, it, uh, 22 in particular does a good job of initiating contact, drives his defender off, frees his hands up for that one second. Trafford, nice trail check by McLaughlin. Ball loose, comes to Holder. Crease violation. Boy, a six would be devastating with 21 seconds to go. Actually, they're gonna give possession to Del Barton. Del Barton has an opportunity here, 21 seconds to go, as they trail 5-2. A great first quarter for the Lakers. Del Barton, 10 seconds to go. Slide comes over. Little swim dodge, shot goes wide. Three seconds to go. Five, five, three, 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 
You see they're keeping an eye on number three, Link. Looking to get to Macaloon. And the buzzer will sound, so one quarter in the books. And the granddaddy of them all when it comes to Morris County, boys across, it's Mount Lakes five, Bill Barton two. And before we go to break, we're gonna talk to, to Rudy Marzi from Bell Barton, get his thoughts on the first hit quarter. Um, hey, Rudy, uh, just your thoughts on what we saw in the first quarter. Mount Lakes come out on fire after Malchione scored that first goal. Yeah, Del Barton with an incredibly hot start off that quick goal, something that we haven't really seen from them uh, thus far this season. You know, Summit last last game was a slow burner, but this one got off really hot, uh, hot really quick. And something that's incredibly interesting to me is that Mountain Lakes has already matched the amount of goals they scored in last year's game. Against Del Barton last year, they had five total goals. They already have five today. And it just seems like Mountain Lakes cares more. Their bench is active, and there's a lot of uh, energy on the sideline, and that, that translates on the field. Rudy, thanks for that. We're going to take a quick break. We'll come back with the second quarter. We'll talk to Rudy at halftime. Thanks, Rudy. Keelan Latman, Sotheby's International Realty enjoys helping clients through the process of selling their home and finding their dream home. Whether you need more space, are a first time home buyer, or ready to downsize, Rich can help. Rich is a National Association of Realtors Circle of Excellence Award winner and one of the top producers in his area. With Rich, you can always expect expert analysis, excellent service, and exceptional results. For all real estate in Morris and Somerset counties, contact Rich Latman at 908-839-8487. And we're back live here at Del Barton High School, Del Barton and Mount Lakes. Mount Lakes with a 5-2 lead, a couple of goals from Reed Tishan, two goals from Kaz Coatson, and a goal from Bradford Goodbar. Jake Melchioni got the game going for Del Barton, scoring 15 seconds in. But since then, it's been all Mount Lakes. Luke Carrillo with the other goal. Dan Cleary along with Centenary University head coach, boys of uh, men's lacrosse head coach, Pat Regan, here live in the Morris Sussex Sports Network. We want to thank the people at Del Barton, Dan Whalen, the outstanding athletic director, for having us here. Also, the Mountain Lakes Booster Club, Tim Flynn, the outstanding head coach for Mountain Lakes, part of that. And, Coach, your thoughts on what you saw in the first half, first quarter, I should say. I think Rudy hit the nail on the head. Uh, that there was a lot more um, energy coming from the Mountain Lakes bench. There was a lot more energy on the field, a lot more ball movement. I was surprised by, uh, I was expecting more defense from Del Barton after the Summit game. I think that might be a product of Mountain Lakes' offense, their attack, you know? True. And that's nothing against Summit. They're one right. of the best teams in the state. They'll be heard from, they'll be up there in the TOC too. I don't. I have no doubt they'll be battling for a state title and getting in the, in the tournament again. They lost to Don Bosco last year in the finals. McAloon's got a great shot to Zamba all over him. Working inside, shot. Oh, what a save by Holder. He's done a great job. He's, he's been very, very patient. He stands there, waits for every shot. Sometimes goalies get a little anxious and jump early, and it's, it's easy for a guy to move him. Mount Lakes will call a timeout as they try to clear. That was Ben Busby, one of their outstanding short stick defensive biddies. Yeah, let's take a look at that save, Coach. You were talking about how he's been so active. Right Stays there, very step. patient, doesn't? I mean, that ball was coming from low. He waited, kept his hands there. A lot of times a goalie will accidentally dip. They don't realize it. They'll, you'll see a little dip action. He's very steady, comes right up to the ball. No wasted motion. A lot of times when you're that close, it's almost like a dunk, and, you, and Holder doing a great job. 5-2 so our score. Again, want to thank Bill Barton and Mountain Lakes for sponsoring this game. Hey, folks, you want to get your game on, one email. If you want to get your game on, you want to advertise on all the platforms, which gets few 4 million views, which is incredible. You want to get the athlete story, we'll profile your favorite athlete. You want to get a digital playing card, one place to email. That's George at morrisusexsports.com. I'll be happy to get back to you. We'll give you all the details if you want to get your game on, if you want to advertise on the game, if you want a trading card, if you want an athlete story done. George is the man to get a hold of. So turned out to be a very nice day here at Del Barton. Beautiful. Nice and sunny, a little breeze. I tell you, it's at 5-2, if it's not for their goalie, 
I think this is a 5-4 game. He had two incredible saves. I agree. He's not the only line of defense, but he is the last line. A little different from the weather at last year's game, but constant rain at Mount Lakes at Wilkins Field. The beauty of spring sports. Yes, indeed. So we'll start the out of the timeout. Let's see what Coach Tim Flynn and that outstanding assistant coaching staff that have been together for a long time. A lot to be said for consistency, Coach. A lot. On both sidelines. No doubt. I mean, Matt Kochuk was Chuck Rubin's assistant for 17 years before he got the head job. On the turnover, chance here. Transition for Del Barton. Dylan Hakes is going to high point. Long sick mini with the shot. Wide. That was Nick Dotro. Hakes is going to high point. Another college bound player for the Green Wave. And Del Barton will go to work. This is uh, so, so much of lacrosse to be played, but a big possession here for Del Barton. Yeah, it is. Again, 5 3 versus 5 2 is going to be very, very big. Yeah, Coffee gives it up. Coffee had the big goal against Summit as well. They were all big goals in that game. This is McAloon. Trying to post up, sends it back to Link. Back up top to Ryan Johnson. Johnson had the eventual game winner with 126 to go. Free hands, shot goes wide. Great hustle by the Mountain Lakes defense to get possession. They certainly did. And give all the credit there to Gavin and Anian. Number three. Again, to the point we brought up in the first quarter, Lakes just seems to be a half a step ahead. Yep. And Del Barton's not making them pay for little mistakes like that. Everyone will get their personnel on. Oliver Bush out there, number 10. Oh, on the doorstep. Hold on again, coach. That's just a hezzy play. Yeah. Now look at him on the clear. Everyone thinks the goalies can't run. No. Let, let that dispel that right just, now. Exactly. He cleared it, brought it up. Lakes touched it up. And they'll go to work again, look to extend that lead. And we're three minutes into the second quarter, live on the Morris Sussex Sports Network. And the thing about Mountain Lakes and Bill Barn, they're, they're great in almost every sport. There's, there's no drop-off, depending on the sport. Absolutely. I mean, Doug Wilkins, a legend football coach. Daryl Fusco, now the coach there, does a great job. Soccer with Coach Walters. I mean, just all the sports, they're so competitive in Mountain Lakes. And Del Barton's state-ranked in almost every sport. Goes wide. And good ground ball win. Melchioni, who started the game with a goal. Trying to get McLaughlin on. They'll get him on. Coach, talk about working the box, how important that is. Because you don't want to lose a possession because of a silly offside. Uh, yeah, the offsides are, are devastating. They almost always happen when they're not necessary. Uh, right. You know, and they're self-inflicted, and that's the worst thing you can do. You always got to get someone to keep an eye on that box. Link, it is our first There's flag five. of the game, Coach. Pretty clean game thus far. The official will come over, most likely... Todd Donetta, who said an outstanding athlete in Lenape Valley, great football player. That'll be a one minute slash on Ryan McLaughlin, University of Penn commit. So, EMO here for the Del Barton Green Wave. Yeah, and see how, how disciplined Mountain Lake stays in defense. Do they chase the ball or do they just sit at home, kind of pack it in, and not give a lot of shooting lanes to Del Barton? You got Hakes. Coffee, Link, Johnson, and Spencer Shea. Rip by Johnson. Oh, they got there. Mountain Lakes gets it. Goalie ball. So see if they go double up here. Del Barton with the man advantage. Oh, Try to run out this penalty. Somebody on Del Barton should be doubling that ball. That's what I was seeing. So we even think that, but they're able to get it over. Nicely done by Gavin and Indian, who did a great job winning that ground ball. 
And a timeout called by Coach Flynn with 7.26 to go. As there's 32 seconds to go on the penalty. And the, he'll have the ball and obviously they'll run it out and keep the possession, right? Yeah. I mean, I don't know if I would have called the timeout there for Mount Lakes. I think I'd uh, let my guy go down to X and uh, run this penalty out. Now you're giving him a chance to, to settle themselves. You got 33 seconds, it looks like, on a scoreboard. Yep, 33 seconds left in the penalty. So Mount Lakes will have possession, but will be a man down. And those are backbreakers if you're Del to give up a goal when you are a man up. Yep. But we saw Del Barton's mental fortitude the other day, down 3 one and a half to Summit. He never I, panicked. Yeah, I wouldn't say there's any great concern right now. No, I, I, I definitely agree with that. Coach coming over, checking. And they're working on making sure they have all their the right personnel. Everything's lined up. As they have the... You want your best ball handers, maybe not your best shooters. Take it, go wide, keep it away from uh, Del Parton's defense. Now, both these teams in the NJAC American Division now, this could be confusing to a lot of people. The NJAC teams are also in the North Jersey Interscholastic Lacrosse League. That's where the Fitch Pitt, the Gibbs, the Riz, the Pooley, the Curcio, and, their, and uh, all those teams. In the Gibbs, Mount Lake's 3 0. And they have <clears throat> St. Joe's is 3 1. Ridgewood 2 1. They had a big win over Don Bosco opening day, 7 6. Bosco's 2 1. They lost to Ridgewood. Northern Highlands 1 3. Rampo 1 2. Bergen Catholic go in 3. In the Fitch Pit, Delby's undefeated 4 0. Summit's 3 1. Chatham, Seton Hall Prep, a terrific team. Their one loss. That's why that Summit game was twice as big because they're in their, their exactly. conference. Exactly. So Coach Flynn used his second timeout with seven. One left for Del Barton and Lakes out of timeouts. Both the two top divisions, in my opinion, in the state, the Gibbs and the Fitch Pit. No, no argument. When you have these guys in those two divisions. <laughs> Seton Hall prep. You got that Reed kid going to North Carolina. Got Don Bosco. So we are even strength now. So we'll see what Coach Flynn drew up with his staff. And we have about 640 to go here in the first half. Three-goal lead for the, the Lakers. Slide comes over. Good pass, shot, Shuckman. What a great look, James Elliott to Shuckman. He drew the slide and took the rip. Drew the slide and the pass off. He dodged to pass. You can see it. Did a good job. Comes Watch across, great look. The, the key is catch, step, shoot. No delay. And that's got the goalie on the movement. Gives him a lot more to shoot at. So Shuckman with the goal. That would give Cade 10 goals. Going to Williams, but a great assist from Jimmy Elliott. Yet another assist. I don't think it's mathematically possible, but they're trying to get more assists than goals. Exactly. <laughs> uh, face of Lux, X, they've done well. And Hernando, the older one, gets a big hit from Facone, a little bit too good. There's a flag there. Mount Lakes will go back in the man up. That, that's tough. You, you burn the penalty and then give up the goal. He called it a push. I guess the, the, the read was his helmet was behind the, the ball carrier's helmet, so he called it a push. It'll be a 30-second technical. McCone will head off, but he's basically a Fogo, so... <clears throat> Bill Barton... Not agreeing with it. So again, here, 30 seconds. You know, obviously, you, don't, you take a shot if you got it, but you want to keep these possessions going with 6.21 to go in the lead. Probably want to hold it for 20 and take a, take a shot in the right. last 10 seconds. Those are, those are also back breakers. Right. Make sure you got someone on the backup at X. Mount Lakes is putting on a clinic thus far here in the first half. There it is. Hands free again. Shot and a goal. Mike Noonan with the goal. Oh, excuse me, number 20. Bradford Goodbar with another goal. Goodbar, eight goals on the season, 7 2. Take We've a look seen at this the before. Replay. They get the ball down to X. He'll carry it down. They're watching up top. Sends it across. Catch, step, shoot. 
No delay. You got the defense facing the wrong direction. Good bar with the goal. His second of the game. Seventh, a man up goal. And Mountain Lakes tack it on. We don't lose those. And the ground ball will be won by Del Barton, Nick Doftro. Mountain Lakes is getting it done in all phases of the game, coach. And Del Barton's going to call a timeout with 5.50 to go. What are they doing on both sides? Well, it, Mountain Lakes is just moving the ball so well on offense. They, they're doing a great job in keeping everybody pulled apart. You can't double anybody, and, and that ball doesn't spend a lot of time in one stick. Uh, it's, it's making Del Barton struggle on, on trying to you know, double and or shut off any passing. On offense, Del Barton seems to be just carrying the ball, one-man ball. Right. They, they need more uh, assists. They need more uh, swinging the ball around to, to stress out that that uh, Mountain Lakes defense. But again, unfortunately, it looks like they've run into a guy who's pretty hot today in Gage. Absolutely. Jimmy Holder doing a great job for Lakes. I think we're going to see Matt Santowski in the second half, number 43. That's what Coach has been doing. We'll see if he rides the hot hand or continues what he's doing. Uh, you know, Coach Flynn's got 698 wins. I think he knows what he's doing. You think? <laughs> Maybe. If Nobody's he, that lucky, right? Not right. You've got to be pretty good. Their next game is against Pope John. If they win this game, he's going for win number 700, be the first in New Jersey with 700, and become the fourth in the nation. Wow. Coach That's Flynn, impressive. known on the national level, he was a U19 national coach. Just a living legend. And very humble. Yep. He, when you talk to him, it's all about the kids and the assistant coaches, the feeder program, and the community. Well, he knows. He, he As a coach, he can teach them everything he can, but he can't go out there and play for them. He was a 24-year-old wrestling coach that played lacrosse at Montclair. Got the job. Doug Wilkins hired him as a, the lacrosse coach, and he started the program. But thanks to the Walters family, who had the youth lacrosse uh, program going. So he walked into a pretty good situation, as he says. And they've done a great job. That was the understatement of the year, but he's done a great job. Yeah. <laughs> Captain Obvious. As you just mentioned, he had, this could be 699 for him. Unbelievable. Johnson gets the hands free, broken up. And Kovacek, as he said, longtime assistant to the great Chuck Rubin, over 500 wins for Chuck before he retired. This is Link going to Villanova, trying to feed the crease on the doorstep. Shot a goal. Link gets it to Joe Leone for the goal. Big goal there for Del Barton. That's what I was talking about. They, they're moving the ball. That moves the goalie. It improves their chances. You see it swing in here from the wing. He drives it back in after the ground ball or the out-of-bounds ball. You got a cutter come across, feeds him. Great handle by that number nine there, and then he just puts it in a different spot. Terrific pass from Link to Leon. He sticks it in the back of the net. With 5.14 to go, and it's now 7-3. And if you're Del Barton, this is where it starts. Win at X and keep chipping away. Yep. But Mountain Lakes with another win. Chance here. Yeah. Yeah. And a nice job by Troy, the goalie. That's where a goalie can change the, the whole pace of the game. He makes a quick save right there. Now it's right back to Del Barton. Actually, they've made a goalie change. That's Charlie Medin goal, number 22. So a goalie change for Del Barton. And we're going to have a flag. So... My apologies to Charlie. Terrific save by him. He's in there, replacing Aiden Troy. We'll get the call from Todd Donetta. <laughs> McLaughlin will be called for the push. 30-second technical for Del Barton. There'll be a man up. You know, you could hear all the Mountain Lakes parents. They didn't want that, but it's... It, it's something the refs are taught to look for, the helmet in front of the player. It's going to be a push. All right, penalty expired with 4.22 to go. We have 4.46 in running. So a chance here to get it back to a three-goal deficit in the extra man. Good look, shot, nice. and a goal. Link with another assist. And with the goal, it's Leone. So the same uh, combination again for the Green Wave. I'd like to say Coach heard me say about moving the ball, but I'm pretty sure he figured that out on his own. 
get the motion again. The ball is really moving around here. You're going to see the cutter come in from the right side. Catch and shoot. And Link doing a great job. Link now with five assists on the season. The Villanova commit. That's one way to slow down a uh, hot goalie. Just move him. No doubt. So 7-4. Del Barton now only down by three. Easy. Yeah, Fernando yeah, with the win. Great acceleration out of there so get, to get that ball to safety. No doubt. Now they go to work, get their personnel on the field. And anytime I do a game in Morris County, I see someone doing a good job of face-off X, you got to bring up Trevor Baptiste. <laughs> I got, got to see him play at Morristown Beard. He had an unbelievable career at Denver and on the international team. Arguably maybe the best face-off guy in the world. And he's doing it at the PLL level as well. This is Shuckman, back up top. Patience shown here, Jimmy Elliott trying to get free. <clears throat> Sends it back to X. They've really made this Del Barton defense move today. Yeah. That grinds out of defense. Yes, they are. We might see more of that, the effects of that in the fourth quarter. I was just gonna bring that up, great point, coach. Good bar, looking for the third goal, nice save by Charlie May. Ed will get rid of it. Gets it to Carrillo. Yeah. Carrillo has a goal for the Green Wave today. A little unsettled here. Let's see what they do. Shea sends it back, and they'll get into their settled attack. And Link is Link seems like he's going to be the facilitator today, although he is obviously a great scorer. Waiting back at X. Sends it up. Hands free. Shot and a goal. A big goal for Del Barton. Alex Losher. And another assist for Link. And a two-goal game in lacrosse is nothing. What I really like on this one, we'll see it, goes back to X, takes a page out of Mountain Lake's book, makes a nice pass right over the top of the cage to the cutter coming down. Bang, shot, goal. You get that goalie moving, your, your odds increase so much. It's unofficially three assists for Link today. Doing a great job. And then, you're right, he's a great scorer, but once you give, start giving those assists, mm -hmm. people start backing off you, gives you a chance to drive yourself. No doubt. <clears throat> we head back to X. Facone Big gets win. the win. Momentum on the green white side, shot. A good hustle by Mount Lakes on the backup. Good hustle by the official that lost his hat. Yeah, he's moving so fast, he ran right out from under his hat. Ride being put on here by the Green Wave as we approach about 2.30 to go. Oh, great read there great by Melchioni. Melchioni, a terrific job. Unsettled, shot, and a goal. David Link, Melchioni sets it up. Link gets the goal. We basically have a new game right now. Let's go! Boy, you can just see it to our right there. They're kind of quiet on the bench. At Mount All Lake. set up by Jake Melchioni. Moves the down. Thick midi. Nobody in front of him. He has a chance to, to move that goalie with the stick. Those are probably the goalie's hardest saves. One on none. Just like that, we were staring at a 7-2 game. Good bar had gotten a man up goal with six minutes to go here in the corner. And the switch went on for the green wave. It did. Younger Hernando at X against Trafford. Battle here on the circle. Look at these guys going at it. Sanzona and McLaughlin. He's going to get the ground ball. Trafford comes out with it. And that's why the Mountain Lakes guy was fighting for that wing. Shot. This time the Green Wave has somebody back there to back it up. Absolutely. They'll get their personnel on with 2.15 to go. A huge second quarter, second half of the second quarter for Del Barton. All their scoring coming in the final six minutes. We still got two minutes to go. Here's Link with three assists and a goal in this quarter. Sends it back up. McAloon with the rip. Saved by Holder. Big save there. He takes a shot from Link. 
I think Link remembered him bringing it up last time, Coach. He said, you know what? We're not allowing you to do that again. You're not running down that sideline on Acosta. Lakers will get it over to get it to Cade Shuckman. 135 to go. Again, the key word for both these teams seems to be discipline. They run that ball down, get it into the corner, make the, let the uh, exchanges on the uh, personnel happen. Shuckman waiting, draws the slide, sends it back up top. Cass Coatson has got two goals today. We talked about an outstanding overall athlete he is. Soccer, hockey, and lacrosse. Like that, so a little clock check there. Melchioni doing a great job today. Set up that goal all over him and forces him to give it up. Shuckman dumps it back to X the good bar. Good bar rolls around, shot a goal for the Lakers. Looked like a great defensive stand starting there for Del Barton, but then he just was able to move the ball. Good bar with his ninth goal. Just wraps around. You got nobody coming across. There should have been a slide coming over there, but it didn't never materialized, and he is one-on-none -on -one with the goalie. So Spencer Goodbar with the hat trick. And a couple of assists, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, excuse me, Bradford Goodbar, yes. My apologies, Bradford Goodbar, number 20. With the way he's scoring today, maybe we just start calling him Mr. Goodbar. There you go. He had four goals the other day. Battle for this ground ball, plenty of time. The Lakers will get it. Good job on the ground ball win by Ben Busby. A chance here for Del Barton with 24 seconds to go. See if they can get something going and make this a one goal game at the half. This is Dylan Hakes. Sends it back, 13 seconds. This is Link. Little inside roll, draws the slide, McLaughlin's over there. Back up top, good catch. Shot, a great save by Holda, and he'll just flick it to clear it. And the buzzer was sound, what a save by Holda, Coach. Real athletic save, boy, he's jumping, going high, and brings his hands back down to his hips. That was impressive. All right, folks, so one half of the books has been as good as advertised, our score. Mountain Lakes eight, Bill Barton six. We're going to take a quick break. When we come back, we're going to have our man, Rudy Morrissey, break down the first half. At rlatman at klsir.com. I've worked with many mortgage companies over the years. From the big banks where I thought I could get the best most competitive rate to the small guys where I thought I'd get more personalized service. And I never thought I could have it both until I met Family First. Family First gave me the most competitive rates in the market with unmatched service. Their team is incredible. They were always at arm's reach, ready to answer my questions, help me weigh different loan options, and work through some of the most challenging closing situations and timelines. I have to say without a doubt, Family First is the best in the business, and I strongly recommend them if you're looking to finance or refinance your home. Semino and Philippone is a New Jersey-based law firm with offices in Morristown and Hazlitt, devoted to providing quality legal representation and personal attention in the areas of residential and commercial real estate estate planning, and personal injury. Contact Joe Philippone at 732-203-0060 or by email at jphilippone at cf-lawfirm.com. Hey, don't you just love it when more assistant sports broadcast your game? Or do you prefer a silent motion detecting camera just following the movement on the court. Let's face it, the only real way to watch your favorite team is through Morris Sussex Sports' award-winning service that it's brings you play-by-play -play -play commentary, right live instant replays, cool cinematic graphics, real-time scoreboard, fun fan engagement, and much, much more. 
Plus, all of our broadcasts are free to watch. Grandparents can easily pull it up on their smart TVs, and alumni can watch from all over the world. So if you want to reserve us, have your games broadcasted the more Sussex Sports way, then just reach out to me, George Muha, at george at morrisessexsports.com, or call or text me at 973-713-5944. Thank you. If you've ever been around bad leadership, you know it right away. Find out what it takes to be a great leader in the book Don't Wait, Lead Now by Jim Lord. Filled with real-world experiences and lessons that you can easily apply to your own situation, Don't Wait, Lead Now will help you become a more effective leader, whether in business, family, or life in general. Start your leadership journey and reach your full potential. Learn more and order at DontWaitLeadNow.com. That's DontWaitLeadNow.com. If you've ever been around bad leadership, you know it right away. Find out what it takes to be a great leader in the book Don't Wait, Lead Now by Jim Lord. Filled with real-world experiences and lessons that you can easily apply to your own situation, Don't Wait, Lead Now will help you become a more effective leader, whether in business, family, or life in general. Start your leadership journey and reach your full potential. Learn more and order at DontWaitLeadNow.com. That's DontWaitLeadNow.com. carpenter, needing workers' compensation, general liability, or commercial auto insurance, Gladstone Coverage Group has you covered. Gladstone Coverage Group is a one-stop agency specializing in many types of insurance, including life, personal, business, and Medicare supplement insurance, as well as employee benefits, serving many communities throughout New Jersey. As an insurance partner protecting you and future generations, Contact Tyler Brinson at 908-698-0477 or by email at tylerb at gladstonecoverage.com and tell him Morris Sussex Sports sent you. If you're not getting the most comfort out of your system, check this out. Like the rest of your neighbors, you want your home to be as comfortable and inviting as possible. It's no surprise with the winter storms around here. The demand for system repairs are way up, which means waiting around for a while for a technician to show up and having to be stuck feeling uncomfortable for a long time, which is why at ICS, we make sure to service your home quickly and efficiently so you can get back to feeling And we're back here at Del Barton, live on the Morris Sussex Sports Network. I'm joined by Rudy Marizzi. Uh, Rudy, big second quarter for the Del Barton Green Wave. What did you see there? Yeah, a lot of uh, firepower for Del Barton there, coming back from a 7-2 deficit. And uh, they came back strong. You know, Coach K talked about before the game in an interview that um, they had needed to get over that emotional high of a big win versus Summit. And it took them a first quarter, but now they're definitely woken up. Talk about David Link going to Villanova. He's been the facilitator. He has a goal, but you know if they're going to let him pass, he's going to put the ball right in everyone's stick. Right. He's he's kind of the senior leader of this team. Um, was one of our best players last year and is this year. But it's also a junior heavy team, so it's it's a it's a strange dynamic where you have these talented seniors, but it's it's a lot of juniors on this team, and and it's a it's an interesting team dynamic. And one of those guys on this team, Jake Milkleoni, having a great game at Long Stick yeah. Actually forced the turnover to get Link that goal. 
Uh, just talk about that defense. After, you know, they've given up eight, but they really picked it up in the second half of the second quarter. Right, you know, Jake also started off with that with that hot goal at the start, but um, uh, their defense definitely picked it up in the second half. Uh, they had a great performance at Summit, but that kind of fell off in this in this first quarter at least, but it seemed to, you know, get back on track in the second half. Coach, you put a Charlie Med in goal. Aiden Troy got the start, but he's done that sometimes this year. Right, uh, Aiden Troy seemed like he was the starter for, he played all, all of last game, but Chuck Med came in and had two saves right off the bat, so just great, great performance. And it seems like things were kind of turning around, a little hiccup at the end with the Mountain Lakes goal, but Del Barton's definitely woken up. All right, Rudy, well, thank you very much. We appreciate it. We're going to take a break, and we'll be back with second half action here live on the Morris Sussex Sports Network right after this. If you don't want to spend your winter freezing your butt off, visit our website, icshvac.com. Chairman's Elite Club Loan Officer Mitch Vandalinda of Loan Depot is your go-to person for home loans, whether it's a new home mortgage or a refinance of your current home, and she specializes in renovations for those who want to add on and fix up. Because of her extensive knowledge of loan programs, problem-solving skills, and steadfast commitment to customer service, Midge ensures that each borrower receives superior guidance as they pursue one of the most personal investments of their lifetime. Reach out to her today at 973-202-0992 or mvandalinda at loandepot.com. Your future, it's on. Goals are on. Learning is on. With CCM, the County College of Morris. Online. On point. On your terms. Over 80 majors. Major help. With career guidance. And welcome back to Del Barton High School here in Morris Township, live on the Morris Sussex Sports Network. I want to thank Rudy for his halftime analysis. He does a great job. He's a junior here at Del Barton. And uh, joined here by Centenary University head coach Pat Regan. Pat, your thoughts on what you saw in the first half? Well, I, I like it. You know, you see hanging out on the uh, shooter shirts of Mountain Lakes is relentless. And that's basically what they have been. It's relentless. They've been attacking the ball. They've been attacking the uh, cage. They're swinging it around a lot. Del Barton made some real good adjustments there in that second quarter. Get themselves on that four-goal run. You know, 8-6 game is going to be, we got a lot more good lacrosse in front of us. No doubt. Uh, goals, it was a 5-2 game after the first quarter. Then uh, Cade Shuckman made it 6-2 um, at the 6-34 mark. And then Del Barton took over. I mean, it, well, good, uh, good Bradford Goodbar got his uh, eighth goal of the year man up. It was 7-2. Then after that, it was all Delby until the last goal by Goodbar. Right. That's what I mean. Like, lacrosse being a game of runs, Mountain Lake had their run. Del Barton came back, had their run. Mountain Lake stopped it with that one goal. wasn't a lot, but it was enough to stop that run. Good bar with three goals, nine on the season for Mountain Lakes. Two goals for Cass Coatsen. Two goals for Reed Tishan. Two goals for Cade Chuckman. So spread out. We talked about it. that's what Mountain Lakes' MO is. They spread it out. All right, ready to start the third quarter. 8-6, can Del Barton keep that momentum going, but starts here, Hernando against Trafford. Justin Hernando, the senior. Hernando with the win. And Mountain Lakes will settle in. Instead of attacking right away, they say, you know what, we're gonna settle in. Momentum kinda on their side. Possession being nine tenths of the law, I'd rather yep. hold the ball for a little while. It's a good call. That was a big goal by Goodbar. Forty nine seconds left in the first half. They can call the play. I like how the whole sideline echoes. Shuckman back to excitation. Back. I've noticed is Del Barton keeps sending someone down to defend at X. They're taking away that, 
that uh, wide open pass. Coatsen with the shot and the goal. Wow, even with the body on him, coach. Yep, that buddy did a good job. A little bit of uh, contact initiation there, drives him off. You see he tries a rusty gate. Right there, misses him. Contact, sends him away, hands free, goal. That's good work. Third goal of the game for Kaz. 11th on the season. So, starting to hear more over here on the Mountain Lakes bench again. Yeah. At the Their level's coming back up. At that four goal Delby run, Mountain Lakes is answering two one at the end of the half and one to begin the second half. And another win by Hernando. With McLaughlin. Barton gets it back. I think Mountain Lakes had a guy wander offside. Yep, they did. It's one of those self-inflicted penalties we talked about. <laughs> Absolutely. Good job by Eisenhart to get it over, and Bill Barton will go to work. They send it back up top to McLoone. Coffee will come on. Nine six our score. Mountain Lakes with the three goal lead. Link. Good defense by Mountain Lakes. Rolls back to the keeper. And as we noted, Matt Santowski in goal, number 43 for Mountain Lakes. And that was good defense before by Lucas Soransky. It was. I like it. Oh, there's a nice, nice ride. Bodies going. Bouncing off each other. Melchioni trying to get to it. And roll out. Well, it's interesting. Well, the orange jerseys point one way, the white jerseys point the other. The guys in the stripes account. That's exactly right. Johnson swings it over. That earlier play, number four sitting up top over here. Mm -hmm. A nice quick skip pass. You might have a good, good shot opportunity. And he's got a rocket. Yeah. Rory McAloon. This is Coffee. Being harassed there by the short stick mini Ben Busby. Gets the screen. You can hear the Del Barton coaches, Matt Kovacek, telling them, move the ball. They're getting a little stagnant right now. Yeah, they got to get it into somebody else's stick. Your defender's got you shut down. Move it to somebody else who doesn't. Trying to swim his way through. Shea, he takes a shot. McLaughlin in there. We're now to roll back to the keeper, Sentowski. Now Lakes will get their personnel on. Carefully, make sure they don't have another right. right side. We talked about working that box. Hear this coach, he's going to be hoarse by the end of the day, but could be the difference in the game. No doubt. So now Lake's going to work with about eight minutes to go here in the third quarter. They have the three goal lead. Hey, we want to thank Dan Whalen and a chance here, hands free shot and a rocket. Kaz Coatson, that was a great catch and shoot. It's another good find from down at X. That's what, his third from back there. See He's got four on the game. 11 just sits up here top by himself, swings it down. Nobody pays attention to him. He moves in a bit. He's got it, room, time and room, rips a shot. Absolutely, leaving him alone, proving to be lethal for the green wave. Kaz Coatson. If they're gonna send somebody down on defense behind X, they need to put him down there in contact with his hands. 7.58 to go here in the third quarter. Uh, before that goal, I wanted to say thank you to Dan Whalen and everyone here at Del Barton, as well as Tim Flynn and the Mountain Lakes Booster Club for sponsoring today's game. We've got a hold. I want to thank them. And 
They will get their personnel on. Do a good the, job setting up their clear. Work at the meds. So the two starting goalies are not in. I think meds in because of, they wanted to switch things up. And Mount Lakes has changed goalies all year with Holden and Santowski. One and one A, I guess, for the Lakers. Yeah, yeah. It's not, not what you would call a drop off, that's for sure. Green Wave will work it back up top. That's the Carrillo. Sophomore had a goal earlier. This is Link. Gets the running start. Set and a save. Nice save by Satowski. Just pushed in the crease. The junior with a great save. Back at X. Gavin and Anian playing Nobody some great D side. back there, number three. Hands free for Carrillo, shot and a goal! Second goal for him today. So important that work back at X. He drives what looks like to an open side. Everyone looks that way. They turn their back on Carrillo, sends it to him, step down. Slide just a little too late. And Carrillo with the rip. It slides a little late because they're all looking on the, on the ball side. Right. What I don't hear a lot of is the goalies telling them where the ball is. I'd like to see a little more of that. One little fundamental like that can make a big difference. It would be Jordan Hernando against Ryan Trafford. Come on, Traff. Melchioni with the ground ball win. Boy, he's having a good game, number 33. Start the game off with the goal. And forced the turnover and allowed Link to score his first goal. I saw him twist an ankle early in the game, so I wonder if that's uh, keeping him from going hard at the cage. Oh, great save. Sintowski there with a big save. Mountain Lakes takes possession. Quick restart, they don't let Del Barton set up their run. No, they do not. And Jimmy Elliott. And a save by Med. Great clearing pass. On the run, Nick Dotro dumps it off to Leone. Now, Leone will be heading to Villanova, joining his teammate Link and former Green Wave stars, Jack Camizio, Jack Serza, and Trip Robinson. Shot and a goal, left all alone, hands free. Alec Losher, the senior, his second goal of the game. That was just a cannon. Two goals for Losher at the 541 mark. Nobody really honors him. Turns it, as soon as he gets that short stick turning the other way, he's, he knows he's gonna be taking a few more steps and rip it. Back to a two-goal game. Absolutely. You knew Del Bart wasn't going anywhere. Yeah. Maybe we do get lucky and get that fifth quarter. We might. The coaches might not <laughs> want that, but that'd be good for us. <laughs> We're sitting down. It's easy. Exactly. A Melchiori, good Another stick GB. work. Here comes Del Barton trying to clear it out. Eisenhart. McLaughlin will try to get up on him. Good job by Oliver Bush to pick up Johnson, the terrific midi for Del Barton, as they'll get into their settled attack. I like McAloon's got the short stick matchup. Yes, he does against Bush. Ball pops loose, Delby keeps it, Young free, back up top. Johnson gets the screen. Still has it. Feeds it up top. Looking for coffee. You hear Coach Allen move it. They, they really want that ball humming so that the defense never gets a chance to settle. Johnson oh, swings it over and it goes through. And a turnover. I'm going for that backside again. Would have been a good look if the pass was a little bit more accurate. 
Last year in the rain, it was a 5-2, a 5-3 win for Mountain Lakes. We got a shootout today. So when the guys are complaining about a slicker or a shiner, it's, it's probably true, right? So Lakes will go into their settled attack. Elliot back to X. Reed Tishan. Ball pops loose, ground ball will roll right back to the stick. McKay Chuckman. We got a shorty down at X now. Let's see what Not Tishan the man does. You want to have a shorty on. Andrew Sanzone's gonna have to D up here. Tishan. Sanzone doing a great job. High with that stick. Coming around, we have a flag. Probably going to be a cross check. They're going to talk about it. And yep, it was a cross check. Cross check on Del Barton. That'll be on it. Del Barton. So a man up opportunity here, the extra man for Mountain Lakes. Surprised the refs don't clear this up. You shouldn't have two men in the box. And the referee will turn around once he sees it. All right, Lakes has a chance to extend that lead back to three. Coatsen out there, Shuckman, Elliott, Goodbar. And Reed Tishin out there. Nice and disciplined. They're going to keep it up top for a while. And Kevin Gillespie as well. That's your six out there. Oh, nice pass in the middle. It's Coates into Gillespie with the goal. Man up. Del Barton defense just kind of stood around there. Let that, let that slide in. Well, your coach saying way to be patient. He just works around the middle. Nobody really covers him there. And he just kind of passes it around him. Boom. So Gillespie, his seventh goal of the year. Terrific man up goal. They'll go back up by three with 2.53 to go here in the third quarter. Again, you got to get away from those self inflicted uh, challenges with the penalties. Fernando with the win, dumps it off. Tishin, good bar, thought about it, nothing there. Good, good move. slides, real good slides. Good slides by Del Bar, but smart lacrosse not to force it by Mountain Lakes. Exactly. Good bar. Oh, nice trail check. Oh, he takes a shot. That's what happens when you go on the crease. Yes, it's not for the faint of heart. <laughs> no, it's not. Gorillo has played very well today. A couple of goals for the Green Waves. They'll get together on their settled attack. They trail by three. Ryan Johnson. And that could be an unforced oh. turnover. Unforced Not what Del Barton right. needed. Quick restart here by Mountain Lakes. Nice and aggressive, going right to the cage. Busby goes in, touches up. He's a defensive midi, so he'll come off. Jimmy Elliott will come on. Tell you, if nobody came to him, though, a defensive mid, he's going to take that shot. Oh, absolutely. They're few and far between. It's like when a lineman gets a fumble in football. <laughs> they're, they're picking it up, and they're trying to go. Everybody's rooting for him. Absolutely. 135 to go. As a former lineman, unfortunately, never happened to me, Coach. <laughs> Still have eligibility, right? <laughs> <laughs> For AARP. <laughs> Card carrying members, yes, right? Absolutely. All right, 110 to go. Shuckman with Johnson on him. Shuckman trying to make the dodge. Feeds the crease. Oh, the dunk. What a beautiful pass. And it's 
Elliott with the goal. One oh four to go, and it's Elliot with the goal. Beautifully set That's up. That's a good job. Coach. Comes up, changes his pace, changes direction, finds the man. As soon as his defender looked the other way, number six just slid into that open spot. Easy pass, catch and goal. Nothing Ned could do about that. A little dunk right there and right on the crease. Elliot with the goal, and a four goal lead again for Mountain Lakes. Hernando's been terrific the last few, but that'll be a ground ball win for Del Barton. Dotro. He doesn't give up on it. No, look at Hernando, it's just so tough. Who's gonna get that ground ball? Scoots through. Mel Leaks will get it, clear it out. It's not just relentless from one person, it's relentless from all 10 yards. Absolutely. That's a good ground ball and clear by John Hawes. They'll go to work, 30 seconds to go. Short time, they're gonna keep it spread out so they get their personnel on. They'll send it back, running some time. Sticking up top. 10 seconds to go, They'll probably get into it now. Tishan with Sharma on him, three seconds to go. Oh, good defense by Radosevich. Good job there by Julian Radosevich. And the third quarter will come to an end, but a good one for Mount Lakes as they have a 12-8 lead over Bill Barton. And before we go to break, we're going to bring in our buddy again. Rudy's going to come in and talk to us. Rudy, have a seat. And... Third quarter, the second quarter, at the end of the second quarter, was all Del Barton, but Mount Lakes has now increased its lead to four. What did you see there, Rudy? Yeah, it, it almost feels like the start of the game all over again. You know, Del Barton and Mount Lakes, they started off close, but then Mount Lakes started to kind of run away with it, and that's that's what it feels like hap is happening here. It's 4-2 in the third quarter. Um, another thing is it's become a very heavy ground ball battle. It's gotten a little sloppy from Del Barton's end, and in the history of this matchup, it's been a lot... Uh, it's, it's, it's been about ground balls, and the team that wins the ground ball, ground ball battle tends to win the game, and as well as the face-offs, we've seen Mountain Lakes win the majority of the face-offs, as opposed to last game where Trafford went 4-0 against Summit, so really interesting uh, turnaround here in the third quarter. But we know one thing about Bill Barton, they're not going to go down without a fight. No doubt. All right, Rudy, great job as always. We're going to go to break. We'll be back with the fourth quarter right after this, live on the Morris Sussex Sports Network. South. Good job, Rudy. Calories in New Jersey. Success. It's on. With CCM, the County College of Morris. Sign up now for summer and fall semesters. At CCM, County College of Morris, athletics are on. CCM baseball. CCM volleyball. CCM basketball. Oh, yeah, it's on. CCM's women's soccer. It's on. Nine athletics programs. CCM softball. It's on. CCM golf. It's on. Esports? Oh yeah, <laughs> it's on. CCF, County College of Morris. Go Titans! Hi, I'm Rob Guswell. As the branch manager of our Persephone location for North Point Bank, I can tell you emphatically that our customers continue to sing our praises. Our community values us as much as we at North Point value our team. Our goal is to always exceed our clients' expectations. If you're just zipping through life and need a helping hand with any of your home buying. All right, we're back here at Del Barton High School, fourth quarter, live in the Morris Sussex Sports Network. Mountain Lakes with a 12-8 lead of the granddaddy of them all, the best lacrosse matchup, not just in Morris County, but in the state of New Jersey, for my money, when these two teams get together. Joining me is Centenary University men's lacrosse coach, Pat Regan. Pat, your thoughts? Well, Dan, I, I appreciate it. Um, literally, it, uh, Rudy was right. The, the, the possessions, the ground balls, they, they're working hard at it. They're keeping control. And like I keep saying, Mountain Lakes is just relentless right now. And it's showing. One thing I liked at the end of that last quarter is Sharma went back to X. They were not going to allow him to start having those easy skip passes anymore. 
So Del Bart needs to get some work done here offensively. They trail by four goals, and I'm sure every possession Mountain Lakes gets is going to be a little bit longer. Run a little clock with the four goal advantage, and turnovers you can't have them if you're Del Barton right now. Right. But you worry if they, you know, Mountain Lakes gets away from what's got them here. Sometimes when you do that and you have the long, slow possessions. All of a sudden, they creep in one, they creep in two. And next thing you know, it's, it's a close game. Right. Well, Del Barton has shown the ability to get back in this game. So, and they've shown the mental fortitude to do it too. So it's not because of lack of effort on the Green Wave part. No. Good catch. They caught him on the offsides. Pipe. Again, that pole brings it in from such a different angle on the goalies. McLaughlin will bring it over. Lakes will get its personnel on. And we have the vantage point right now. Coach Flynn with all that experience coaching them up. Still. Still. Up it's amazing. Four in the fourth quarter and coaching him up on such a fundamental thing. Mm -hmm. And the way he did it, very positive, very strong. That's why he's a living legend. Yep. But he wouldn't want to hear that. It's all about the kids. And, and it's not false modesty. No, I, I agree. Over there. Turn over here so Bill Barton will get it back. They need to get something going on the attack. Melchioni, great catch. Great handle. Sanzone, he needs to touch it up. <laughs> he finally did. Barely. Nice job coming back by number 10, Bush. Shot, stay here. You didn't get to see on camera there, a nice exchange between Del Barton and the Mountain Lakes player uh, as he came off, told him, hey, nice trail check. Respect. Link, up top, Carrillo has two already. Good job coming over. He stays on his feet, and a great save. How did he hold on to that through that track? <laughs> and that was just a great save, too, by Sentowski. No. And Nadian brings it up. Mountain Lakes looking for the offside. He's not going to get it. And the guy trying to call for it is absolutely hoarse. So Lakes on offense, working around. And when you have a great assistant coaches, he can do that now because he's got his offensive quarter around the show. He's overtaking care of business on that. Absolutely. Side. Gotta love it. And Mount Lakes holding that four goal lead. 8.40 to go. No scoring yet here in the fourth quarter. We're about three and a half minutes in. As we said, the game would slow down a little bit here in the fourth. You're right. At least for Mountain Lakes. Del Barton wants to speed it up. Good stick check. Yes, indeed. That was it's deflected tip, off so Del Barton. Over, over and back. And there it is. Offside. He came off sides. Yep. C13 calling for the over and back, but they were waving a tip, so right. it's not an over and back. Again, this allows Mountain Lakes to possibly take another minute off. They come in undefeated 5-0. and St. Joe's 10-1. Westmore's 11-3. Bergen Catholic gave them all they wanted, but they got the win 10-9. Northern Highlands a good club 10-5. They beat a solid Chatham team 9-3. They got Pope John next. They're looking to make this 38-37 as far as the series is between Del Barton and Mount Lakes. And next Saturday, they got Don Bosco. Big showdown. Yeah, they, they still got time any, to lift uh, this one. No low in their schedules, right? No. Either team. Neither team is right. Kaz Coatson had a big game thus far. Kaz with four goals. They're spreading it out right here. Let's see if they get a warning. See, it's Sharmers down at X. They're not going to give anything extra. Del Barton looking for a warning here to 
Get out of there a little bit of a delay. Good bar. He's had a good game today with three goals. But Dosich on him. Dosich, big part of Dan Whalen's Morris County Championship team in baskets. Elliott, now they're telling him to go hard. Got to make some sort of effort. Elliott with the shot and a goal. Wow, with 6.47 to go. Jimmy Elliott with the goal. That's how you draw it up, coach. It's how you draw it up and then how long it took him to do it. Mm -hmm. Let's take a look at that again. She just carries it up. Nice, nice job coming up top. Little pick there. She's free for a while. He's got the shorty. That's what he wants. Steps around him. Takes the shot. And Del Bart will call a timeout with 6.47 to go. Elliott with back-to-back -back goals. He scored with 104 to go in the third quarter and gets the first goal of the fourth quarter. Hey, we want to let you guys know, if you want to get your game on, if you want to advertise, we have 4 million views on all the platforms George Buhau puts together. If you want to get an athlete story on, you want the trading cards, one email, George at MorrisSussexSports.com. George Muhal will take care of you. We'll get your game on. We'll come up with a package to get you going. Or if you just want to advertise, 4 million views. If you want your business noticed in the Morris Sussex area, there's no other place to go. 4 million people, folks. Or 4 million views, I should say. So you want to check that out. Also, subscribe to the YouTube channel. we got a ton of games this spring. Softball, baseball, lacrosse, boys and girls. If you name it, we're going to have it. Subscribe to the YouTube page. You'll get the notification when the games are on. So one place to go, one-stop shopping for all your high school sports needs is Morris Sussex Sports. Again, I want to thank Dan Whalen and Del Barton for sponsoring this game, as well as Tim Flynn and the Mountain Lakes Lacrosse Booster Club. And right now, Mountain Lakes looking to wrap up their third straight win over the Green Wave after the Green Wave, I believe, had won 11 straight in this series. This would be their, this would now be Mountain Lakes third in a row, right? Right. To be three in a row after, I believie there it was 11 they lost straight. So true to lacrosse, the games are even happening in runs. Obviously no games in 2020 because of COVID. Another win by the Hernandos. Good trail check by Trafford. Let that stick dangle. You're gonna you're gonna have somebody back there active with their stick, rip it away from you. Good bar with the ride. Hake's trying to get rid of it. He does. Boy, malcolm has got a great stick, huh? He can catch. That's a heck of an asset to have a pole who can play like that. No doubt. Bill Nova getting a good one. Just the junior made his commitment already. You can see why too. Picture him in the next two years. He puts a little more meat on that body. Absolutely. Villanova's getting a very good one. Trying to get free was Hakes. He dumps it off. He thought about it there. He changed his mind. Link could take care of this himself if he wants, but he feeds it back up. And to your point earlier, Link has been doing a great job with assists. He might just take one himself because they think he's going to get rid of it. They just don't come to him as fast. Good defense by Mountain Lakes. Everything you do in a game is the first quarter setting up the fourth quarter. Johnson, good slide. McLaughlin's just terrific back there. 44, long and lean. Shot goes wide. Stay here with 5.28 to go. Now, even if Del Barton scores, they have to do a better job at X. Hernando's, the Hernando brothers have done a great job thus far. They have. Again, possession, nine-tenths of the law. Mm-hmm. Long possession here. That's because of Mountain Lakes D. Del Bart wants to score. <laughs> yeah, they're not holding. They're not holding, definitely not. This is Link. Running start. Takes a shot and a save. Santowski's done a nice job since coming in in the second half. And again, very calm, waited for the shot. It's the hardest thing for a goalie to do, to wait for that shot to leave the stick. That was a great clear there by McLaughlin, the pen commit. Get there. Second to get, get there, they keep it in. And they're going to say Del Barton ball. Coach Flynn looking for the timeout. There. Get their personnel the on. Del 
Barton trying to get something going here. They'll work it back. Trailing by five. And that's just terrific D by Mountain Lakes right now. Technically, they've got too many poles on the field. Mountain Lakes does? It, yeah. No, it's, I'm sorry. It's oh. he just, he's caught okay. up here. This is Carrillo's. Gets free. Good slide. Yeah, that is a fifth pole. Shot and a goal! A much needed goal for Del Barton. Take a look at this. He's going to set it up here. Again, just that little bit of extra movement gets the body, gets the push from the defender. He feels his hands are free. I think that was Carrillo with the goal. That'd be three for him. Number forty. Yep, Carrillo got three goals. Come on, Tone. Let's go, Tone. Thirteen nine. Our score three forty eight to go. This is where Bill Barton's got to make some hay at the face of X. And McLaughlin with the ground ball win. We get the timeout. And they do it. get the timeout. Coach Kovacek not pleased with that. Going to talk to the official. He probably cleared it with the official. If we get possession, I want a timeout. So the official knew as soon as there was possession, it was a timeout. Coach Kovacek has a question. He's talking about the faceoff. His, his hand seems so fast. And he had, Kovacek said, you called that on us. You got to call it on them. Yeah. Take a look at the Lake Subtle. With 3.41 to go, Matt Lakes calls the timeout. They'll have the possession. I'm sure they'll eat some clock here. So Barton not pleased with that non-call. Not at all. I do understand what the ref is saying. If he's not said he's still in motion, it's going to be a procedure issue. Yeah, just take through everyone through what he was, what they were questioning, Coach. Well, it, it's down, set, and a whistle. Del Barton's feeling that he's going down, not fully setting. His hands are still moving so that when the whistle goes, he's got it. It's an advantage. It, you know, the hands are moving towards the ball. But it's, it, his hands are so quick. He clamps and sweeps out real quick. All right, so 13-9, hour score, a high-scoring affair after last year's defensive battle in the rain over at Wilkins Field. Coach Flynn closing in on win number 699. Become the fourth coach in the country to do it. Fifteen state titles, thirteen Morris County titles, three tournament championship titles for a Group One school. Amazing. Now Barnes going to have to take some more chances here, try to get some turnovers, and they're going to draw a penalty. So it'll be a man up for Mount Lakes to lead. Might be a push. He kind of leaned underneath him, but. Kaz Coatson's limping a little bit, number 11. Yeah, That's he not went good. down hard on his knee. Again, as you pointed out, there's no gimmies on their schedule. They can't sit him a game. No. <laughs> a game? I can't even sit him a quarter. Uh, yeah, exactly right. <laughs> this is Elliott. Bridged third or fourth quarter with a goal for Mount Lakes. Timely goal scoring for Mr. Elliott. Under three minutes to go. Good strategy here by uh, Mountain Lakes. You got four goals, you got a flag down, there it is. Make the goalie come out. And the goalie will come out. Ten man ride, finish it. Oh, and out. it doesn't get in. Bill Barton will get it. So, with the flag down, they knew they were going to retain possession, so. Get the call here from the official. We'll have a slash on uh, Nick Doctro, one minute man up. So I'm sure Mountain Lakes will take every second of that and just hold on to the ball. So the penalty will expire at the 138 mark. He's 
And a lot of time, they don't have a chance to sit in here and play tight defense. Exactly. They got to aggressively yeah, go to the ball. Out. Pull the goalie again, force it. No difference between losing 14-9, you know, giving up a goal. They, they got to take a chance now right. if you're Bill Barton. If you don't have the ball, you can't now. come back. Exactly. No surprise they have Sharma on the ball. Johnny, watch up here. Radosic in the back. I'm a little surprised Mount Lakes have, have people on the crease. I think you want to spread it out, keep it as wide as possible. Could be a decoy. Let's go, D, let's go. Come on. We'll see. Two schools of thought. They could go for the jugular here, but I think though when Coach Flynn, he's going to want to run some time. He wants that thing to run. Right now, the clock is moving fast enough for him. That's right. If you're Del Barton, it's the shortest 2.30. If you're Mountain Lakes, it's the longest 2.30. Elliot with Melchioni all over him. He gets rid of it. What are you kidding me, Todd? And we got another flag. They flag him. Technical, 30 second. Melchioni will come off. So now two-man advantage. Should be a two-man man up. And again, with 2.24 to go, they'll just run it out. There's actually two balls on the field. It heads up on Nemeth to run to that second ball. Let's go, Mike! Come on! So they'll just coach tell him to call it out of 10 seconds. So the first penalty will expire. All right, five on four. Actually, not five on four. One man advantage. Gets right in the hole, allows the pole to come out. Gonna be even strength very soon, and a good job by Sharma. That's why he's a D1 long pole. Good bar, get to it. Coach called the timeout. Del Barton got the timeout. One thirty-five to go, and Del Barton gets the timeout. Wow. So what little hope they have flickers here with the timeout as they trail 13-9. Again, want to thank. Mount Lakes Booster Club, Tim Flynn, and we want to thank Dan Whalen, the outstanding athletic director here at Bill Barton, for having us. And a great crowd here today. All, everyone on the far sidelines are working on the press box and stands here. Just a great facility here at Del Barton. Beautiful, and they're going to be adding to it. Yes, they are. Construction. Yes, they are. And it was great. Mount Lakes got turf and lights a few years back, probably within the last 10 years. Wilkins Field, named after the great Doug Wilkins, who was similar to what Coach Flynn's done with lacrosse. That's what Coach Wilkins did, over 300 wins out of that wing tee. I tell you, I keep, I keep looking at the back of their shooter shirts, and I see that word relentless, that ride right there. Sharma had the ball, and they were relentless. They knew they were up. Two, three guys were on them. They're not giving Del Barton a chance. Again, Del Barton will have Randolph next, who they, they beat last year 6-5. That was a tough win over the Rams. And Pope John will come to Wilkins Field next week against Mount Lakes. They had a great year last year, one in the HWS. Jack Clifford at Siena. Yep. And Carrillo, McLaughlin on him. Great rap check. Oh, can he keep it in? There's a little extra curricular. A little, little, little push and shove. That's a little lacrosse. A little love tap. Yeah. Just want to remind him he was there. Yep. This is Dylan Hakes. Winds up, takes the shot, save. And another ground ball win. Lucas Soransky gets it back to the keeper, Sentowski. Wow. Chance here. Shot and a goal. And we got a flag. 
And, and another flag. flag. Afterwards. The Reed Tishan with the goal. We'll see what the penalty is. That, that was just a classic uh, unsettled goal. When we look at the replay here, we'll still look live. It is seen just coming in. You had the goalie out of the cage. Reed Tisha with the goal. To his credit, he, he charged towards the goal because sometimes the hardest cage to hit is an empty one. A lot of guys out there know that feeling of putting one just wide. Unnecessary dead ball. Dead ball foul, so no face off. They'll keep it. Right to the last minute, coach wants to make sure the right personnel is Absolutely. The ball. That's how you get to 700 wins. Absolutely. Every detail. All right, so now Lakes wrapping this one up. Coach, your overall thoughts on what you saw today from the Lakers, number one team in the state. They're going to go 6 and 0. They looked every part of it. They absolutely did. Very impressed. They moved the ball so well that everybody's got their head up. Nobody just uh, drops their head and tries to bull dodge through. Cats coaching with four goals, but they've all played great today. Both goalies did their job when they had to. The long poles did their job. And those first few saves that, that Mountain Lakes had early in the game kind of mm -hmm. set a tone, really set a tone. I think Del Barton was expecting to put a few more in. And they're hoping to put one more in before this is said and done. Ryan McLaughlin, terrific job. Again, I want to thank Del Barton and Mountain Lakes Booster Clubs for sponsoring today's game. If you want to get your game on? You send an email to George at morrisussexsports.com. Ryan Johnson trying to get a Opportunity here, he's doubled up, he goes down, ball pops loose, and McLaughlin with the ground ball win. And another push call, a push, push without possession, so there'll be no flag. So coach, this could be the first of three meetings. You say that every time they play in the regular season, they could play in the Morris County final, they could play in the TLC final. We'll have a penalty, but- Oh, they did flag it. Okay. They're gonna move to six and oh, three and oh in the American. Bill Barton will fall to four and three and two and one in the American. As they'll play Randolph next, and as we said, Pope John will come to Mountain Lakes. Don't go anywhere, folks, though. We're going to have post-game reaction here after the final 10 seconds. Hoping to have a couple of Lakers on and Coach Flynn. And I'm sure uh, both schools will be watching the, these film very closely, correcting those mistakes. Goes high, and the horn's going to sound. So congratulations to Mountain Lakes as they will win their third rate. No, 1.6 left. There we go, and they oh, throw yes. it. Mountain Lakes will win their third straight against Del Barton. They'll move to 6-0 and with an impressive 14-9 win. So I want to thank Centenary University men's lacrosse coach Pat Regan. Great job, Pat. Hopefully we'll get you on again before this season's out. I would love it. We thank you. appreciate it. It's a pleasure and being with you. We will have post-game reaction right after this live on the Morris Sussex Sports Network. Give us a call today. Sports medicine is the care of athletes, college athletes, professional athletes, amateur athletes, and we see a lot of weekend warriors. 
At the Sports Medicine Center, we're up to date on all the latest techniques, both surgical and non-surgical treatment options for treating all sorts of injuries. It's important to make the diagnosis, make it quickly, and start the ball rolling with the treatment. If you can get an MRI done the same day of your injury, a lot of times that's gonna help get that treatment started in the right direction instead of waiting two, three weeks. I think reassurance, making the diagnosis and coming up with a good plan for that particular athlete is a very good thing. It helps to get the folks back on track and limits how discouraged they can actually be from the injury. Patient education is important. We want the patient to be part of the treatment plan and having the patient have an understanding of what their injury is, what their treatment options are, that helps them to get back to the sport that they love. We have doctors with all different uh, specialties within sports medicine, state-of-the-art concussion care, regenerative medicine, and then of course we have our orthopedic surgeons. If something needs to be fixed, uh, we can fix it, more than likely in a minimally invasive uh, fashion. With the arthroscopic and minimally invasive procedures, we're able to do much of this surgery inside the joint without having to damage any of the surrounding tissue that allows an athlete to return to sports much quicker. We're seeing an excellent result with regenerative medicine. Ligament injuries that would normally have taken six to eight weeks, now we're seeing two to three week recovery periods. It gives me great pleasure to be able to treat an athlete and see them succeed back on the field. I was born fast. Parisi made me faster. I thought I could jump. Parisi brought me to new heights. I wasn't always quick. Parisi made me lightning fast. Strength was never my strength. Parisi changed all that. At Planet Networks, our high-speed fiber is designed to be fast. Up to 300 times faster than cable, and up to 500 times faster than DSL. As fast as 10,000 megabits per second up and down, if you speak nerd. We're talking cheetah, bullet train, lightning strike, hummingbird, race car kind of fast. Planet Networks. So fast, it's worth the wait. If you live in Andover, Blairstown, Byram, Frankfurt, Franklin, Frieden, Freelingheisen, Green, Hampton, Hardwick, Hope, Knowlton, Lafayette, Newton, Sparta, Stillwater, Sussex, and Wantage, Planet Networks is building high-speed fiber in your neighborhood. Visit GetPlanetFiber.com today to learn more. Sussex Meatpacking in Wharton, New Jersey is a family-owned and operated business specializing in USDA prime and choice meats, pork, poultry, lamb, veal, and many other store-made specialty items. They also have a fantastic deli, a wonderful market with all the freshest fruits, veggies, and pre-made meals, and they can cater any event, including your family holiday dinners, more delicious than you can on your own. Visit them at sussexmeat.com.
At Madison Tire and Auto Repair LLC, our philosophy is the customer is number one. We offer a variety of products and automotive services to enhance your vehicle's performance. Our mission is simple. We never promise more than we can deliver and we always give the customer more than they expect. Because at Madison Tire and Auto Repair LLC, our philosophy is the customer is number one. Please call us for a quote or service question at 973-377-1915. Have you ever needed a day to relax during these stressful times? Well then look no further than Modern Acupuncture. Modern Acupuncture will ensure your time there will not only be relaxing, but make you feel rejuvenated. Not only will your stay be comfortable, but safe as well. All staff at Modern Acupuncture practice safe social distancing guidelines and keep all equipment and room sanitized after each visit. Modern Acupuncture, making lives better. Rich Latman, realtor with Keelan Latman, Sotheby's International Realty, enjoys helping clients through the process of selling their home and finding their dream home. Whether you need more space, are a first time home buyer, or ready to downsize, Rich can help. Rich is a National Association of Realtors Circle of Excellence Award winner and one of the top producers in his area. With Rich, you can always expect expert analysis excellent service, and exceptional results. For all real estate in Morris and Somerset counties, contact Rich Latman at 908-839-8487 or by email at rlatman at klsir.com. I've worked with many mortgage companies over the years from the big banks where I thought I could get the best, most competitive rate, to the small guys where I thought I'd get more personalized service. And I never thought I could have it both until I met Family First. Family First gave me the most competitive rates in the market with unmatched service. Their team is incredible. They were always at arm's reach, ready to answer my questions, help me weigh different loan options, and work through some of the most challenging closing situations and timelines. I have to say without a doubt, Family First is the best in the business and I strongly recommend them if you're looking to finance or refinance your home. Samino and Philippone is a New Jersey based law firm with offices in Morristown and Hazlitt. Devoted to providing quality legal representation and personal attention in the areas of residential and commercial real estate, estate planning, and personal injury. Contact Joe Philippone at 732-203-0060 or by email at jphilippone at cf-lawfirm.com. Hey, don't you just love it when more Sussex Sports broadcast your game? Or do you prefer a silent motion detecting camera just following the movement on the court? Let's face it, the only real way to watch your favorite team is through Morris Sussex Sports award winning service that it's brings you play by play commentary, right live instant replays, cool cinematic graphics, real time scoreboard, fun fan engagement, and much, much more. Plus, all of our broadcasts are free to watch. Grandparents can easily pull it up on their smart TVs, and alumni can watch from all over the world. So if you want to reserve us, have your games broadcasted the Morris Sussex Sports way, then just reach out to me, George Muha, at george at morrisessexsports.com, or call or text me at 973-713-5944. Thank you.
If you've ever been around bad leadership, you know it right away. Find out what it takes to be a great leader in the book, Don't Wait, Lead Now by Jim Lord. Filled with real world experiences and lessons that you can easily apply to your own situation, Don't Wait, Lead Now will help you become a more effective leader, whether in business, family, or life in general. Start your leadership journey and reach your full potential. Learn more and order at don'twaitleadnow.com. That's don'twaitleadnow.com. If you've ever been around bad leadership, you know it right away. Find out what it takes to be a great leader in the book, Don't Wait, Lead Now by Jim Lord. Filled with real world experiences and lessons that you can easily apply to your own situation, Don't Wait, Lead Now will help you become a more effective leader, whether in business, family, or life in general. Start your leadership journey and reach your full potential. Learn more and order at don'twaitleadnow.com. That's don'twaitleadnow.com. We're back here live at Del Barn. We're here with Mountain Lakes head coach Tim Flynn. Coach, it never gets old beating Del Barn. A great effort by your kids today. It's cliche, but it was a total, total team effort. Um, you know, you absolutely need that. Uh, playing a team as good and a program as good as Del Barton. Uh, you know, I take my hats off uh, to, to our kids. Uh, you know, just the, the strength of their camaraderie, you know, as they grew up together. You know, they look for games like this. Um, I. You know, I, I just give it all to the kids. I mean, they, they played really smart, played really tough. It's, tough. it's a tough, tough place to play. It's a tough team to play. And you got to be your absolute best for 48 minutes or you're not going to come out on top. Just talk about the way your team shares the ball. Almost every one of your goals has an assist next to it. Um, we've been doing that actually since the beginning of the year. It's an awesome thing. Uh, again, you know, the kids have been playing together since second, third grade. They know each other. They know when slides come, where to move the ball. Um, you know, and it, it, it comes a little natural. I mean, we work on it for sure, but it's pretty natural. And, um, you know, it's great to see. Talk about the kids' mental fortitude when Del Barton made that run, which you knew was going to happen, but you guys held on. Jimmy Elliott for bridging the third and fourth quarters with big goals. Yeah, I mean, Jimmy's been, you know, playing very strong and smart uh, all, all year. Uh, it's a great time for him to kind of break out just a bit. Smart player, excellent athlete. Uh, you know, the whole team, I mean, they, they, you know, we had the wheels off for a second. You know, they, they're going to do that to you, like you said. And they went on a, a really nice run, and uh, that's where we had to, you know, just answer and answer and answer. And that's where you're relying on your boys next to you to, to get the job done. And uh, Jimmy stepped up in, in the moments that we needed him, and the whole team stepped up together. Uh, and otherwise, you wouldn't, you're not coming out of here with a win. Guys, I was just sitting at 6-0, and and I know your philosophy is one game at a time. You're worried about Pope John next. But are you, uh, I know, there's always things to work on, but are you pretty much happy with where everything's at right now? Uh, it's, a, it's still, to me, it still feels like early season. And, uh, yeah, I mean, we, we're, we're getting better. Uh, it's never a team who's looking good in, in April, all right? It's a team that improves the most from March till, till June. Uh, and that's, that's going to always be – our mantra, and you know, these kids have—they've embraced it. Uh, they work extremely hard. Uh, they have fun with each other, all right. But they work very, very hard, and you know, uh, right now we're okay. And just one last thing, Coach, closing in on 700. I've interviewed you before about this. It's about the community. It's about the kids and your assistant coaches. Just talk about how much that means to you. All that support that you've had over the last 40 plus years. Um, That's a program, you know, it's a program accomplishment for as far as I'm concerned. Um, great parents, mm -hmm. great kids. Uh, you know, I've never scored a goal. I've never made a save. Um, and, and we've had that kind of push from the community for 43 years. It's a freaking joy. For a group one school, what you've done, Coach, is amazing. Thank Congratulations. You. Best of luck the rest of the season. Appreciate it. Thank All right, you. folks, we're going to take a quick break. We'll be back with Cass Coatsen and Reed Tishan right after this, live on the Morris Sussex Sports Network.
are a trucker or a landscaper, accountant or carpenter, needing workers' compensation, general liability, or commercial auto insurance, Gladstone Coverage Group has you covered. Gladstone Coverage Group is a one-stop agency specializing in many types of insurance, including life, personal, business, and Medicare supplement insurance, as well as employee benefits, serving many communities throughout New Jersey. As an insurance partner protecting you and future generations, contact Tyler Brinson at 908-698-0477 or by email at tylerb at gladstonecoverage.com and tell him Morris Sussex Sports sent you. If you're not getting the most comfort out of your system, check this out. Like the rest of your neighbors, you want your home to be as comfortable and inviting as possible. It's no surprise with the winter storms around here. The demand for system repairs are way up, which means waiting around for a while for a technician to show up and having to be stuck feeling uncomfortable for a long time, which is why at ICS, we make sure to service your home quickly and efficiently so you can get back to feeling warm and comfortable again. So if you don't want to spend your winter freezing your butt off, visit our website, icshvac.com. Hmm. Oh. Chairman's Elite Club Loan Officer Mitch Vandalinda of Loan Depot is your go-to person for home loans, whether it's a new home mortgage or a refinance of your current home, and she specializes in renovations for those who want to add on and fix up. Because of her extensive knowledge of loan programs, problem-solving skills, and steadfast commitment to customer service, Midge ensures that each borrower receives superior guidance as they pursue one of the most personal investments of their lifetime. Reach out to her today at 973-202-0992 or mvandalinda at loandepot.com. Your future, it's on. Goals are on. Learning is on. With CCM, the County College of Morris. Online. On We're back live here at Del Barn with two Victoria's Mountain Lakers, uh, Cass Gossin and Reed Tishan. We'll ask you cows first. Never gets old if you're able to beat these guys from uh, Del Barton. You are able to beat them on your field last year. Came here today. Big win. Your thoughts? Uh, yeah, it's awesome. The Mountain Lakes Del Barton rivalry. It's one of the most fun in sports, and uh, it's always good. We always know we're going to have a competitive, fun game against them, and it was great to come out on top today. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's a great rivalry. Uh, we look forward to it all year. Um, it just feels great to come out with a win. I don't think we've won on this specific field yet, so that's awesome. This, they came out hot, scored a goal right off the opening faceoff, but you guys didn't panic. They made a run at you. You guys didn't panic. Talk about the mental toughness this team has. Yeah, I think that was uh, what I was most impressed with the team today was that after that run in the second quarter, we kind of regrouped at halftime. They went on three or four or five goal streak, and we just came back and kept playing hard and kept our energy up in the second half. Uh, yeah, our coach was telling us it's a game of runs. We're going to go on runs. They're going to go on runs. You just got to trust your teammates, trust that they're going to make the right play, and uh, trust that we're the better team in the end, you know? One of the amazing things about you guys on the attack is almost every goal gets an A next week. Every every goal has an assist. Talk about how you guys share the ball so well. Yeah, I mean, that's a lot of credit to uh, guys like 22. They just have great vision behind. They're able to hit us up top for step downs us middies. And when they're cutting up field from behind, we can always give it to them for a crease dunk. So it's really nice having that chemistry on the field. Yeah, we talk about what you see when you're back there at X because it seems like you survey and you put it right in everyone's stick. Uh, yeah, I mean, they make it pretty easy for me. They move great off ball. Um, heads always up. They know, you know, we've played together so long. They know this pass is coming um, in a certain situation. They do a great job putting the ball in the back of the net. Obviously, you could see these guys two more times. You know, Morris County, TOC. But I'm talking to Coach Flynn, it's one game at a time with you guys. You're not going to look too far ahead. You got Pope John next. But you guys are sitting at 6-0, and beating some really good teams. Your thoughts on where you guys are right now? Yeah, I mean, obviously I'm happy with it, but I think our uh, our team motto has been not to be satisfied yet. We just want to keep rolling, keep winning, and uh, hopefully we end the season bringing that TOC home. That's the final goal. Yeah, just one game at a time. Don't get ahead of yourself. Don't look ahead and see what could happen. Just play the next one. And if my math's right, one game at a time will bring you to Pope John and a possible 700th career victory for Coach Flynn. 
just talk about playing for a living legend. Yeah, I mean, it's it's unreal what he's uh, what he's done for the lacrosse program in our town. And I mean, it's still amazing to me that we have a two mile wide town and we can compete <laughs> with private schools like this. And it's honestly all credit to him. It's how he gets uh, our youth programs involved. It's how he prepares everyone for the season. It's what he does in the off season. And it's honestly, it's amazing to be playing under him. Mrs. Flynn's a big part of this program, too. You don't want to leave out Mrs. Flynn, right? Yeah, of course. Um, and just Coach Flynn, like you say, built the program from the ground up. Great coach, great man, and uh, wouldn't want to play for anyone else. And, of course, Mrs. Flynn is awesome. Well, it was a tough decision, but, Reed, if you can just hold this up towards the camera, you're the Morris Sussex Sports player of the game. It says on that, it says, I am, Morris Sussex Sports says, I'm awesome. Kaz, you are awesome, too, believe me. So, congratulations. Reed with three goals and four assists today. Kaz with four goals. So, these are two top players. Guys, great job. Best of luck the rest of the season. Thanks so much. All Thanks, right, sir. folks, that's going to wrap up our live coverage here on the Morris Sussex Sports Network. A big win for Mount Lakes. They're third in a row over Del Barton, which is the greatest lacrosse rivalry in the state of New Jersey, not just in Morris County. Hey, we want to thank everyone today. Uh, Grace Langan on, on camera, our man Mike Man, uh, man on the uh, board, doing a great job producing. George Buha, the owner and executive producer, my partner, Pat Regan. Rudy did a great job coming in from Del Barton to give his thoughts. So everyone, enjoy your Easter. Happy Easter and happy Passover to everyone out there. I'm Dan Cleary. We'll see you again soon, live on the Morris Sussex Sports Network.